I have been using Premiere Pro for the past 5 years and now I finally made the switch over to DaVinci Resolve and I am so happy. Opening and using this program just brings me so much joy. Oh, and did I tell you that it's completely free? The idea for this video came to me while I was editing my hiking video, which you can watch at the end of this video. While doing the editing, I just randomly thought, why am I having so much fun editing? Ah yes, that's because I'm using DaVinci Resolve. And a little bit later, I wanted to do a certain transition that I know how to do in Premiere, but don't know how to do it in DaVinci. And after following a tutorial, I thought, wow, this is so much easier than doing it in Premiere. So let's list up some things that made me switch over from Premiere to DaVinci. Let's start off with the price. Now, this was not actually the most important thing to me since I got Adobe Creative Cloud all the applications really cheaply since I am a student and I only paid like $15 each month, which is cheap compared to their normal price plans. But still, expensive if you add it all up over a course of one year or multiple years. But since DaVinci is free, I thought it wouldn't hurt to check it out and learn it. And I've also heard a lot of good and positive things about this program, so I did. Second, it's the stability. This should actually be my number one reason for why I switched. Premiere Pro crashes so often on me for no absolute reason. <laughs> First, I thought it's because my computer is not powerful enough, but then I got a better computer, more powerful and it still crashed or froze on me for no reason and the playback was choppy or laggy and wasn't smooth at all, especially if I tried editing footage over 1080p or adding some effects. Trust me, I've tried every single thing to try and fix all those problems I got in Premiere. But when I started with DaVinci, I was so surprised by how smooth and fast it was. So far I've only experienced crashing it once, but after that crash I started I started up DaVinci again and I didn't lose anything because it's the autosave function in DaVinci is so good. I can't even imagine that Premiere Pro doesn't have a solid autosave feature so you end up mashing Ctrl S all the time on your keyboard after every single change just so you don't lose it after it crashes. <laughs> I don't even know how many times Premiere has crashed on me, but I would say at least a million times. I don't know how many, but a lot. DaVinci overall is a nice package. The whole user experience is super nice and user friendly. You have all the tabs or workspaces at the bottom for each job like importing or organizing your media, editing, coloring, audio and exporting. It feels like each of those workspaces is a separate program designed for that specific task. And it's amazing. <laughs> it's like you're getting multiple programs inside one program. Meanwhile, Premiere feels like a lot of things or features stacked on top of each other in one single program and you need to dig through to find the feature that, that you need to do. Like for example, coloring, you need to change your workspaces, go to the metry and it's not fun. Since DaVinci has a lot of things and it's a more a bigger package overall, it feels and it is more advanced than Premiere Pro. DaVinci has a steeper learning curve than Premiere as well. But if you want a program that will let you grow and get more advanced over time <laughs> without having a program constantly crash on you, then DaVinci is the go-to and I would strongly recommend it. Just to clarify, I'm not the only one complaining about DaVinci. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I mean, Premiere Pro always constantly crashing for no reason. There's a lot of people just Google online. Everyone who has used Premiere will at some point have complained about some sort of crash for no reason. <laughs> Another thing DaVinci has is this uh, workspace called Fusion. You probably saw it at the bottom, one of those workspaces. And it's like having After Effects inside of Premiere Pro. Not like using the Adobe Link, like a program inside a program. What I mean is that you can do a lot of 3D effects and uh, editing in DaVinci. You don't need a separate 3D effects program, it's all built in. And that's why I'm saying that this program you can really grow with and get better with. 
Meanwhile, I feel like with Premiere you get to a certain point and you just like stuck there. So then you need to switch over to After Effects and combine those two to you know grow but in DaVinci it's all in one same package. DaVinci also uses node system compared to layer system that you find in Premiere. Layers are easier to understand for beginners but there is a reason most high-end uh, software in the film industry use node-based systems. I mean node-based programs. I'm far from understanding it but there is so much you can do with no systems and it's easier when you actually understand it. It's easier to work with than with layers. There's so much you can do with node system. I'm still learning it but that's why DaVinci is so good all the way from beginner all the way up to advanced. Of course this program is not perfect, nothing is, but I'm never going back to Premiere Pro again <laughs> even though I love Adobe, especially Photoshop and Lightroom. Another reason why I wanted to make this short video is because I want more people to start using this amazing program. Don't be intimidated by how different it looks from your regular software editing programs, just give it a try, it's completely free. <laughs> I'm not sponsored but uh, if more people use this program then it's easier for people to collaborate on projects because now most people still use Adobe, other people use Final Cut Pro and some use DaVinci so it's difficult to collaborate because different software use different file types and so on. So yeah, give it a try. And as I promised in the beginning, here is the edited hike. Enjoy this short cinematic video and I'll see you next one. so wet. It's so quiet here. I put my head on because there's so many mosquitoes.
I accidentally went the wrong way. I was supposed to go up on that top over there, but I took a wrong turn somewhere. And now I'm on the other side of the mountain. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs>